everyone and welcome back or welcome if you are new here my name is May and for today's video I wanted to get into the things that I wish I could change about certain handbags in my collection when I'm searching for a handbag I personally wanted to do everything and much more my husband is always like you can't find one bag that has it all and for the most part he's totally correct but in my mind i feel like i have to try to check off as many boxes as i possibly can for one specific handbag however as you will see throughout this video there are a few handbags that i wish i could make certain changes to that unfortunately i cannot or maybe i added a handbag into my collection but that specific style or leather type or color just didn't end up working like i thought it would so i'm not going to keep you in suspense for long i'm going to go ahead and dive right in and the first handbag is the celine luggage in the nano size this one here is in the grained leather and it does have silver hardware and I know what you're probably thinking. May, we all know you wish you can change the non-adjustable strap, but that's not the one that I'm going to point out for this case. So besides knowing that the Celine does come with a non-adjustable strap that we all hate in this luxury handbag community, I honestly wish that this handbag would actually come in the gold hardware. And before I get into the hardware situation, I am not too picky with hardware. Like I mix my metals all the time. Sometimes I wear silver, I wear gold, I wear rose gold. And I don't really tend to pay a lot of attention on that in the aspect of handbags. However, for this particular piece, I do feel like the dull silver hardware that it offers just dresses down the bag a little bit too much. I tend to just go the twilly route in order to give it a little bit more of a dressier look and that helps but even putting all that aside I just wish it would have had the gold hardware in order to make it just a little bit dressier. I know that they do offer the black with the gold hardware however that one is in smooth leather and as you'll see later on in the video with another choice me and smooth leather have a love-hate relationship. So I knew that I wanted to not care too much whenever I grabbed this bag and for that reason I knew that the pebbled leather was going to be the route that I was going to choose. And putting all that aside, I really really love this bag. I love grabbing it. I think it's such a fun bag to incorporate into my look. But if there is one little thing that I wish I could change in regards to this specific handbag, it would be the hardware. Alright, now moving on to the second handbag that I would definitely make a change to and that is going to be none other than my Polen in the number seven. I think this silhouette of this handbag is just so chic. I love dressing her up. She was actually the handbag that I mentioned in like my five everyday handbag tag video as my date night bag. I feel like every time that I dress up for date night, I like to wear a nice pair of heels, jeans, and a nice blouse. And this bag just always completes that look for me. And I totally wish that I could get rid of this non-removable strap option. There's a strap moment going on right now for a few of these bags. But I do think that if I was able to remove the strap from this bag, it would just make the bag that much more elegant. I personally love carrying it on the crook of my arm or top handle. And then sometimes having the thick, chunky strap just hanging down like this, I feel like doles down the bag altogether. So if we could just get rid of this little strap, this bag would seriously be my perfect night bag for date or just going out at night in general. As I said, I do feel like this silhouette is very sleek, very elegant. I know some of you have a lot of Polen bags as well and Polen I feel like focuses on creating those very unique different styles and I am here for that. However, there are times that some of their styles just can get a little bit complicated and you definitely need to rearrange whether it is the things that you use or how it is that you're going to use that handbag in order to incorporate it into your outfit. So if you have anything in particular that you would love to just get rid of from one of your Polen bags, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. All right, now let's move on to my left hand side, probably your right hand side. And that is the Fendi Canai in this black color. You guys know this bag and I have also been through a little bit of a struggle bus. I love the silhouette of this bag. She was definitely an impulse, caught up in the moment sort of purchase, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I think she is a stunning handbag. 
I look at her and I want to use her, but then I have to remember what is it that I'm going to do and where is it that I'm going to go because this handbag does come in a very, very smooth leather and that totally freaks me out every single time that I'm gonna grab her. So if there was one thing that I can change from this handbag in order for me to grab her and just be carefree about it and really truly enjoy her would be to have gone for an option with a grained leather. Now, if you did miss that video, I'll make sure to link it down below for you. We went to Florence and they have a huge luxury outlet. So I was able to find this bag in the Fendi outlet over there and I got it for probably even more than 50% off. And as I said, I really had seen this bag before other times and I was drawn to the style of it. I love a bag that offers a top handle. A bag that has a flap is ideal for me. I prefer it over a zipper. And the compartments of this handbag are really nice and very, very generous. So I really knew that I was going to like the bag and that I was going to use it. However, I made an exception seeing that it was a smooth leather handbag and just went ahead and still got it. And to this day, I always think about it every time that I'm gonna grab her. And I don't wanna go through that mission any time that I'm trying to select a bag to wear for the day. Let me know if you understand the struggle that I'm trying to explain, but I kind of just want to come in here, see what bag matches with my look and grab it and enjoy her. Really quick before we jump into option number three, if you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new around here and love talking luxury handbags, a little bit of fashion inspiration and watching travel vlogs from time to time, I do have a New York travel vlog coming up very soon, then please consider subscribing as well now option number three is one that I love the silhouette I love the handbag I just went horribly wrong with the choice of leather and that is my Aria belt bag in this beautiful dragon embossed leather as they have it named on the website or also known as a croc embossed leather I got on a huge croc emboss rabbit hole last year, we can call it that. I wanted to add something croc embossed into my collection. I felt like it was such an elegant leather to have. And I don't think any differently. I really do feel like this handbag is a great handbag for date nights or even special events. However, you guys, I wish I would have gone the grained leather route simply because I've realized that no matter how dressy or elegant, I sometimes want my outfit to look. At the end of the day, I am a very casual dresser. I go towards classic looks. I might add a heel here and there, but for the most part, I gravitate to a good pair of jeans, a cute top, and then a nice handbag. And for some reason, I just feel like this leather in particular clashes a lot whenever I'm trying to pair it with any of my looks. I've tried to do the whole belt bag situation. I've tried to do like a belt with a cinch and blazer and it just doesn't work. And I honestly feel that it is due to the croc embossed. I feel like if I would have gone the grained leather route, it would have been a lot easier to dress down for those specific outfits rather than it just not pairing nicely with my casual look and then me wanting to incorporate a more elegant handbag. Once again, I really do like her and anytime that I am actually able to pair her nicely with a look, I really enjoy using her. She is a great size. She actually fits a good amount as well. So I don't take away from the fact that I like the silhouette of the handbag. The only thing where I went wrong and the only thing I wish I could change about this one is the choice of leather I went for. Before I get into the last pick from my collection that I would make a bit of a change to. So the fifth handbag in my collection that I would make a change to is my YSL Lulu and this one in particular is in the medium size. Now this handbag does come in this stunning calfskin leather and to my surprise and maybe even yours that is not the thing that I will be changing. Even though the calfskin leather is a very soft supple leather I feel like YSL's leather is just built differently. This is a handbag that I love using. I love reaching for her. I wear her with jeans. I wear her dressy. I wear her dressed down. I mean, there are endless possibilities of ways that I incorporate this handbag with my outfits. Now, the thing that I would actually change in regards to this bag is the interior middle pocket. 
I just feel like this pocket right smack in the middle just takes away from all the space that the handbag has. I totally understand that it is needed in order to probably maintain the structure of this handbag because of that supple leather. But in my opinion, I feel like if we can honestly find another way to keep the structure and remove this interior pocket, the handbag would just hold so much more. I do feel like this is a great alternative bag for an office rather than going for your typical tote it fits so so much and just having a wide open compartment i feel would be a lot more comfortable to put a lot more things inside so for that reason i really do feel like this bag could just get a little bit better if we were able to remove that pocket from the center so those are my five picks from my collection in which i would do a couple of little tweaks to in order to make those handbags just that much more perfect i can't wait to read and interact with you guys in the comment section down below let me know all of your thoughts whether it's out of the ones that I picked or whether it's out of particular handbags that you have in your collection that you would like to change certain things from. I will also link two other videos here for you guys to check out in case you haven't gotten enough luxury handbag content today. As always, thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to watch and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone!